and i'm telling you what i'm saying to you is actually might affect some other african countries because they don't like you they do not like you back alive yes if you remain in nigeria you might live to see the next 70 years but if you go to south africa you might not live to see the next 15 or 20 even when you're doing something right i'm telling you even when you're doing something right because when they start their xenophobic attack they don't care whether you are the good one or the bad ones they just want you out they don't want us so let's stop going there my brothers and sisters let's stop going there i would rather i would rather be homeless in nigeria than be homeless in south africa i would rather beg for food in nigeria than beg for food in south africa and i would never be homeless in nigeria what's come to us i go village they don't want you nigeria so stop going to south africa there's a lot of countries to go stop going to south africa they don't love you and anytime a south african tell you that you are taking their jobs ask them what job anytime a south african say that nigerians or other west africans are taking their jobs ask them what job do you have in south africa because even if the whole west africans leave south africa today michael there will still be nothing to do because they are chasing they are chasing they, they are chasing all the whole africans away they're chasing nigerians away they actually a few years ago they started on alive in the white people they go to farms and they on alive the white people they on alive them a lot of white south africans have left south africa a lot of them are still planning to leave a lot of them don't even feel safe in south africa right now now if they take everybody outside of south africa what do they have Michael, if the whole immigrants leave South Africa, South Africa will be worse than Burundi. If the whole, if the whole immigrants leave South Africa, will be worse than Burundi. South Africa will be one of the poorest in South Africa. Nigerians, stop going there. If you want you to, know, go. Michael, you one, know. Minute. One, one minute. Um, if you're a Nigerian here, South Africa is a cool place to go on vacation. Yeah, go and flex. Go and enjoy. If you're a guy, you get their women so easy. They are one of the cheap. Some of the some of their women are one of the cheapest in the world. Go there, have fun, do whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you, please be careful. Be very, very careful. Be very, very careful. They don't want you. Stop going there. In fact, as a Niger if you be Nigerian and you know, if you're a Nigerian going to South Africa, you're stupid. If you're a Nigerian and you are thinking about going to South Africa, you de mad. You know, get sense. I can talk what you want to talk. Okay. Um. You know something, Eldugu. When I when was in, when I was still little, growing up, you know, when my dad was still alive. Because my dad is this kind of person that he likes um histories and you know stuff like that. Because he, he he traveled around you know Africa. So when he talks about South Africa. I always have pride then hearing about South Africa when I when I was growing up. Michael, when you hear things like Michael, sorry, Michael, sorry, there's a very important there's a very important comment there that I like. She said, "Guy, you're talking about what you hear on social media. Let Nigerians live in South." She did not even spell the living properly, but she said, "Let Nigerians live in South Africa." Talk, my sister. I live in South Africa as of I'm not even talking about South Africa has become Michael as of 12 years ago when I was living in South Africa. <laughs> just for me to let her know that i lived i lived in that shit hole the, the, the <laughs> for for 12 years ago when i was living in south africa it was shit imagine 12 years later imagine 12 years later michael you see now it, michael you see what is happening in this life when nigerians start talking they start they, they start they start um playing um emotional mind game you see when we keep quiet nobody says they just they just say shit. but when we start responding they, they start shaking say so let's let i lived in south africa 12 years ago about 12 to 13 years ago it was full of shit, and i ran away michael i was homeless in south africa if i was in nigeria i would never be homeless i slept in the street of south africa if i was in nigeria i would never sleep in the street in nigeria when i was in south africa i struggled to eat one square meal in two days if i if i'm in nigeria i would never struggle to feed there's nothing there there's no job no matter the kind of skills you have even if you have the skills they'll still see you as a threat they'll still see you as a threat they don't want you why are we going there so i live there i know how that shit hole smells like so Uruguay, as i was saying so back then growing up when my dad used to tell us about south africans you know when i hear south africa this is the first thing that comes to my mind mandela you understand so when i hear when i go when i go down as in i read his stories of how he survived you know how he brought uh, came back to south africa from prison 
to become the president, liberating them from this, that. You know, when I hear those kind of things, I, I feel very I proud. Feel sorry. Of I, I feel sorry for Mandela. I don't think no. Mandela is proud. Okay, I'm I don't think Mandela, Mandela is not proud in his grave. Mandela is not even proud in his grave today. So, then, it, now that I'm much older and matured, when I start hearing things about South Africans, and I'll be like, is it the same South Africa my dad used to tell me about, like, you know, the pride and everything? So, you said something earlier. You said, the Gen Zs, the Gen Zs of South Africa now. So, I'm saying, so I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking, is it the new generation of South African people that, that have this mentality, or are there still South Africans that actually believe in that Nelson Mandela's um, um, dream, you know, to liberate Af uh, South Africa from the mind of slavery and the slave uh, the, the mentality? You know, understand what I'm saying? South Africa has lost that hype that I used to have for them. Like, you know, back then, when you hear things like Mandela, when you hear things like South Africa, you go there, these people are Africans, you know. Only now, eh? Not, I know they hear nothing here. Looking at the year now, now, different stories. You understand know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that are these these South Africans that actually believe in this kind of um that see how this kind of mentality back then, or or all of them just get that same equal mentality, same man, they don't just like Nigerians or something. Because I from what from what I heard, I heard there was a time Nigeria went to support South Africa or fought for South Africa for something. I don't like I don't really go down that history well. We gave we gave them money, we gave them billions countries, of billions of money. If you have other countries that go to your aid at a particular time, then why the hatred? Why the why you know they're not even hating only Nigerians, they're even hating their neighboring countries like yes, you know, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was that said. Why? Mike, 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 do you know the funny thing? Majority of them don't even know that if we trace their roots, some of them are Zimbabweans. <laughs> you see, seriously, the thing is annoying. Man. You, you know, makes sense. Like, because okay, imagine a country that has the whole Africa as their name. That one alone should have at least. Now, they, to me, I feel like based on the fact that for the fact that they have that name on them, eh, now they're supposed to be the giant of Africa, sir. Mm. If they really proof saying that now them be like Africans. But why why they only get this self-hate? Okay, um I watched a documentary on one guy on YouTube. The guy went to South Africa, just like what you're saying. 